In this video, I will quickly detail the differences between the filter types in Reference 4 and why you might choose one over the other. Both the Reference 4 VST and the system-wide standalone application have two filter types, zero latency and linear phase. You can switch between the two filter types at the bottom of the VST and app windows. The zero latency setting ensures that no latency will be added to your processing. There are some things of note with this option. With decreased latency comes increased CPU usage and an altered phase response of the outgoing audio. This filter type is applicable for live tracking and real-time monitoring. The linear phase setting guarantees linearity of the filter phase, thus delivering ultimately clear and accurate sound at the cost of approximately 60 milliseconds of latency. Most of the time, this is the best setting to use when adjusting the overall spectral balance of your music. It is important to be aware that depending on the specific filter profile, this setting could introduce some pre-ringing to the bass frequencies. While this is hardly audible when listening to the overall spectral balance of your song, you should be aware of this possibility when working on solo drum tracks.